Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about picks that I think you guys should make. Now again, this isn't every single one because on this, on Underdog Fantasy, which is what I'm using, I can only put five in at a time. It's interchangeable, whichever ones you guys want to do. That's that's what it is. We're going to do Underdog Fantasy and we're going to talk about FanDuel. I can do a little bit more in FanDuel. So again, here is my underdog fantasy pick. So first I have uh, Mahashar 39 and a half significant strikes. Even though I don't think Mahashar wins this matchup, I do think he can get 39 and a half significant strikes. Next we have Michael Figlock who one and a half takedowns is a higher 1.1 multiplier. I think Figlock, because Austin Harvard is going to be looking, uh, looking to pressure him a lot, I think the takedowns could be a possibility there for Figlock. I just think... The pressure is going to force Figlock to try to do something, try to get a hold of him. And also, Austin Hubbard does tend to kind of fall in to fighters because he pressures a little bit too much at times. I think Michael Figlock, one and a half takedowns, uh, which he needs to get two to, to achieve that. So higher, I like. Next, we have Victor Henry of 57 and a half significant strikes. I have it higher. I think, obviously, it would be 58. I think Victor Henry, I don't see this fight necessarily getting finished, being a finish, but because Roddy Yaya is a veteran, he has good grappling. I think the significant strikes at 58, the to hit, to win, um, I think uh, Victor Henry being an output guy, a lot of movement guy, I think, and with the leg kicks and all these things, I think 58 significant strikes is, is a very, very nice bet. And then Jonathan Pierce, three takedowns, so which means you have to get four takedowns. I like it a lot, specifically because I think he can get him early, and I think trips in against the cage, he can get early. Later, even though I think Pierce loses this fight, unless he gets finished early, like really early, I think three takedowns is, is damn near uh, a lock for Jonathan Pierce. And then Johanta Dinez, 16 and a half second strikes, so 17 strikes. I'm saying lower simply because of the fact I don't think Austin Lane can take 17 significant strikes. Big ones, his chin is like glass, and I, those are the ones. And it's a, a five, uh, 20, it's a 22 times multiplier. So you put five bucks in, you have a chance to win 122 on fantasy, or you could do the four correct, miss one, 2.75 multiplier, uh, multiplier, not player, plier. And that could pay you thirteen seventy five for a five dollar bet. If you even if you miss one, you could put a lot in there. If you think it's a damn near at least four of those are gonna hit, you could win two seventy five on a hundred dollar bet. Or if you get all five correct, it's twenty two hundred. Or again, if you just want to flex it just in case and you still get all five right, it's still a, a eleven hundred dollar bet win. So. Those are the ones there. And then, of course, FanDuel is lack, slacking. They don't have all of their bets in yet. Um, the double chance and stuff like that that I like. But either way, I'll still give you what I think could and most likely will happen. So UFC prelims, I think um, uh, da, 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 Gabriel Benitez, Maha shot. I don't think the fight goes the distance. And I think Gabriel Benitez wins that matchup. Or you could do um, over one and a half rounds. Uh, da, 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 da. Austin Hubbard, Michael Figlock over one and a half. And I think uh, Figlock wins that. But again, I think this fight goes to a decision. Ronnie Yaya, Victor Henry. I like Victor Henry a lot in this matchup. I don't think he has the power necessarily, necessarily to finish Yaya. But I think he has the movement and the output to outpoint him. Um, let's see. Dante Mays, Machado could go either way. Decision, no decision wise. Uh, finish inside the distance. Next, we have Tim Means versus Euros Medic. I like Tim Means. I want him to win this, but I think Medic, being the younger guy, gets the job done. Fighting Jonathan P and then Jonathan Pierce fighting David Onama. I think David Onama uh, finishes Jonathan Pierce, but I think the fight could go over one and a half rounds. And then Austin Lane versus uh, Denez with uh, inside the distance. Ryan Spann, Guskov inside the distance. Um, so those are two fights I think absolutely are going inside the distance. And I think Guskov wins that fight. But again, those two locks to go inside the distance. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know your pick. And let's talk about it down there in the comment section. What are your guys' best bets? What are your locks? As always, peace.